Guest has not initialized the display. Yet. Um. Why? Are there like any logs for this or? Like a serial console? Okay, so the BIOS in this is crashing. Um, hmm. I actually, okay, so I actually know what this problem is because my friend hit this exact problem before and we debugged it, um, except they were having it with Windows. So let's, I'll tell you what the um, problem is. Let's force off our virtual machine. And I'm going to, have to edit the XML for this. Um, it's something to do with the EFI NVRAM. Hmm. Hang on, let me get Firefox open. Um, Actually, I'll open it on the other page so I can find it better. And then I'll bring it up here. All right. Um, Bugs.archlinux.org. Um, VMF. Here we go. Oh no. Is that like a Bitcoin logo? Okay. So what am I doing? Remove the virus, pass reset NVRAM. Switch to pass based firmware. Okay. Um, so it looks like the it's changed which NVRAM I'm using. Change that up. Um, and I need to create a variables. So where is that? Domain two eight. Which domain is this? I guess it's eight Ubuntu. Domain seven Ubuntu twenty one. Domain four. NVRAM. Ubuntu underscore bars. So let's wipe that out. And let's make this Ubuntu underscore bars. And we'll also have to check if this is the actual. Uh, okay. I don't want to enable firmware selection. Okay. Cannot find that. Okay. Did I delete Ubuntu virus? Let's just make that file and see if it resizes it. Um. Mm -hmm. All right, so it has to be 128K, I guess. 
should be two megabytes. Okay, let's make this two megabytes. See if this works. All right, now we have to add the Ubuntu loader back. And then we should be good to go. Add boot option, EFI, unified, um, Ubuntu, unified kernel. Change boot order. Um, Let's put this up the top there. It did not do that. Enter. Okay. Commit changes and exit. Um, auto boot timeout. Let's change that to one as well. And boot next value. No. Okay. Um, now we do F10 to save. And let's continue. And then let's also just power this off and then run again. Okay. All right, we're back. We're back. There we go. My Dwarf Fortress cereal wants to go, go. No, I don't like Dwarf Fortress. Why does my desktop not have like, why is that not expanding? Resize to VM, scale display, never. What do you mean anymore? Dwarf Fortress was never open source. Okay, so let's load up with some quick stuff I wanted to check out. So one thing I wanted to bring out is that um, I found this very interesting article that shows how the you thought open source meant when it had public change logs no so this shows that um the 8086 assembly has octal notation so you kind of have um the parts of the instructions are in groups of six wait no yeah i think it's six no three groups of three That's kind of a good read if you want to read about it. Not going to lie, this is going to be a low energy stream. Um, because let me let me be honest here. I'm pretty tired of this. Um, yeah, this is not fun anymore. This is work. We've gotten to the point. Um, in the DOSBot saga, where um, we're now just doing work. All right, let's open up our log file thing. I think that's all my notes. Yeah, so let's do run just to make sure it works. But this is an anti-work stream. All right, um, you want to run test server? Bring on run bot test. All right, we want to refactor out this printf stuff. So where else are we calling it? 
Um, print format incoming. Uh, I don't, I don't care. Not today. Not today, my friend. Not today. N please, no. No. Not today. Why? Dude. I'm freaking out over it. Oh, it's just... My room's, like, baking me. It's getting, like... Let me close my blinds a bit and drink some water, okay? All right. So, where is... We write create timestamp and we call write log. What does write log do? Go outside and eat a vegan burger. Just... Just don't... Don't, don't, don't ever. Um, okay. So, we have the write log here. So let's see, when we do log general, my local calls, I'm still, still fucked up. They removed the bike racks. They put in Tesla superchargers. I live in, I live in the middle of nowhere. Why? It's Australia. Why? Why, dude? Why? <laughs> you traded the bike racks. Who has t oh, oh my, ah, oh. okay, no, we're not going to get distracted. We're just going to, we're going to go to log general. And we are going to see how we push all this shit. I don't remember why, but we're all, we're going to, um, okay, I had to change it for two things. Do you think it's a yeah, my Twitter name says Elon Musk in it as a joke, as a prank. I thought it would be funny. Okay, so for now we're just going to not log out going, okay? Because this code's gonna break everything. And I just don't I don't I don't have it. I don't want to log out going stuff now. Just please give me some time. So we do push CX, we move BP okay. So log incoming, we get the line and the length and we need to set up the logging monad. I just want more registers, please. I don't have enough registers. Oh, they, they've paused that? Oh. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Carls. Okay, so this is actually really painful and I wish it wasn't painful. I wish it wasn't painful. Is there a way we can make this less painful? Um, so when we get login coming, we get SI and CX. We clobber some registers. We call write to create timestamp. That preserves the registers. Um, now we want to do write space. No, create timestamp, then we do write log. I want to do multiple things in the log though. Um, I want to, okay, here's what we're going to do. We're going to dump all this. Um, We get SI and CX. Now, Cole's walking tours. What? So we need to set up the, um, edit code bot. Um, we need to go to our string functions and we need to look at the colon convention. The first thing we're going to do is push SI. 
and push CX. And then we will pop SI and pop CX and we will return. Um, now, what does this do here? Obviously this edits AX, which is fine. Um, but in, we want this to take in, like we want this to be within the current, um, spring function uses AX, BP, BX, CX, SI, DI. So we want to pass in, um, our write buffer. CXDI and we will preserve the read buffer and everything else. Okay. And we will just write to the right buffer. Uh, we will, yeah, that's what we'll do. So instead of AXCX, we will just write to the right buffer. And this means that up here, when we call log incoming, we want to set up the location of the buffer, which will be log buffer. And there's time buffer there. So let's do move um, di log buffer, move cx log buffer length. Um, we'll do create timestamp then. And that won't. Um, do anything. Um, not sure what output stuff will do, but here we have, we push SI and DI. We don't need to push DI. We don't need to push CX. Um, we need to push SI, BX, DX. Okay. So push DI. Where do we use DI? Okay. So we're not going to use a time buffer now. We're just going to write there. And we're also going to not return anything from AX. So we're not going to return that. And that's just the base pointer and stuff. Yeah, tell me about your trip to San Diego. S-I-D-I-B-X. Push AX. AX, SIDI, BX, DX, BP. All right. I'm going to pop AX, SI, not DI. We're not pushing DI. AX, SI, BX, DX, BP. AX, SI, BX, DX, BX, DX, BP. Okay. So this should be working fine. It just takes in that. Okay. So now when we go to um, log incoming, we're going to push SI and CX, which is um, just what we're um, using. We're also going to push um, what are we pushing? We're going to push DI as well. Because we're going to be using that. Um, so we move the log buffer, then we call create timestamp. Um, and now we want to do write log. So we call write log. Or let's move AX. Um, what's write space do? Yeah, that writes just 20. So we call, we are then do call write character. <laughs> oh no. My mum and I get this idea to take two weeks up to, to go up to the Canadian border from the Mexican border on Route 1 all the way up the coast. Unbeknownst to us, Route 1 doesn't really exist anymore and Mer America is really fucking big. Yeah, um, 
Uh oh. I need an adult. Um, and then we're not gonna, we'll go to do write SICX, which should be on the stack, which we can address in a bit. Um, actually, we could probably just move, um, CX, move CX to, what is it, BX? And move, um, yeah, we already have SI. Let's push SI. And we're gonna push BX as well. And then we go call right string. Um, then do we want to write A new line. New line. And then we want to write log, which means moving um, the right buffer, the DI, and subtracting the length. So Remove um, the right buffer length there. Then we want to subtract it from CX. Oh, um, hang on. We're going to have to switch CX and BX. Um, then we move CX there. Then we subtract BX from CX. Then we call right log. All right, let's see if this works. You do normal touristy things and you go to the beach and you notice ash is kind of falling on you. Um, what? Right string. All right, I need to. And what else did it? Right buffer length. Um, right buffer length. And this would be log buffer length. Okay. Oh, that's probably really loud. Hang on. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Was that loud? I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Um, I think it's because I did the registers wrong. AXFI, BXDI. AXSIBXDI, AXSIBXCXDI. Um, that should be fine, I think. Um, let me just mute this so we don't get the beeping. Is that a new slider? All right, so this is just doing that. That's not good. So smells like stack issue. But following a GPS. Oh no. That's what Elon Musk wants you to do. A A S B D B P A S B X D X A S B D B a S B D B. Mm. On first glance, this code looks fine, except for this part, which obviously isn't fine. I mean, it seems to be printing something. It 
it seems to be like printing it according to the actual um, server data. So let's let's go back a little bit. Um, we push AX, SI, BX, CX, DI. Oh no, you were covered in sand. That's not good. Sanders for cowards. Um, let's remove this right string here. And we'll just do a call to write log. Am I getting a bit upset? I'm getting a little bit upset. <laughs> What a nightmare. Your pain is making me slightly happy. It's taking away my pain. Okay. Let's just, uh, comment all of this out. And we'll just confirm that this is, we're not calling create timestamp anywhere else, are we? No. <laughs> the GPS is taking you to hell. Yeah. I mean, what did you expect? You know those GPSs, they're manufactured by people who want you to be lost so they can sell more GPSs, you know? Okay, so the bot didn't crash there. So something is crashing here. Let's just investigate. Is it changing any of these registers that are causing issues? It should not be. Oh no. Okay, so let's call create timestamp. Actually, no, let's call right character and right string. Let's see if this just works without create timestamp. Hmm. Hmm. Oh no. The dried sand pain. Your mum's having a panic attack. Oh no. It's fine. Okay, so SI and CX, if we just push all the stuff up. Okay, so if I just push stuff and then call right log, AX is the line? AX is the line? Why is AX the line? What the hell? All right, let's try moving AXSI there. <laughs> Getting negged by McDonald's. Okay, so it seems a bit more sane. So let's do everything except for that. And then we will move AXDI. Uh, Hmm. The sand? Yeah. Um, watch out for that sand, you know.
You have a loop, you have a lascivative. Okay. So we call that, we move di log buffer and move cx log buffer length. And then we call right character. Um, and then uh, we don't call right string. Let's skip that for now. And then uh, we move di, we should move that to ax actually. Um, exchange bx and cx. Don't know why I do that. Oh yeah, so I can subtract it. Um, cause I want to retain it. Okay. CB, 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 CB. <clears throat> what if we call create timestamp? That's not great. actually the opposite of great. So create timestamp is broken. There's <laughs> flames? Oh no. Um, don't do that. I don't have the flames. So SI should be preserved. Let's not create the timestamp. Let's try writing the character. And we'll just see how this goes. Hmm. Interesting. You know what? Why don't we just delete everything and start over because holy cow ah uh, anger so you went to like capitalist nightmare so my parser is messed up somehow or my assumptions are messed up something is messed up all right, so we write character. That's fine. Write string. Um, let's skip that for now. Because we might not have preserved SI and BX. Um, then we do new line, then we write a character. I think this length thing might be messed up. Um, so CX is the right buffer. We put that in BX. Then we move CX with the log buffer length. And then we subtract BX and that should be fine. If CX is like the, yeah, AX is the line, CX is the length. And we move AX DI there. So this should just output some staticky stuff. But is it? I mean, it's not crash in the computer. but it's also not giving me the values I want. So what if we move CX 10? And we just print out 10. New packet. What is going on? You woke up like 150 miles away. Sometimes it happens. Is it? Is, is DOS messing up my segments? That's like the thing that I just think of. Let's see that. It's calling a DOS function messing up my segments. Does everything mess up my segments? No. Okay. 
we might have to open the debugger. Which is fine. I'm not angry about that. Just super pissed off, you know? Um, so, okay. All right. Okay. What if we change the character to be the same for both of these? Will we get the same output? Why does it say CV, 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 CV? Still says CV, CV, CV. So does write character actually do anything? Is it writing anything? What is happening? What the fuck is happening? Do I need to put this in the data section? God, I'm about ready to just break down crying at this point. Nothing makes sense. Just pain. I think DOS is finally getting to my head. It's playing in the mind games. Um, every single simple thing becomes pain. It just says CB, 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 CB. Why? Why is it saying that? Come on, DOS, just tell me. I, just, I need you to tell me what's happening. I'm getting mind gamed by this. All right, back to the debugger. If only I had printf. If only I had printf. Hmm. Okay. This is going to be a learning moment though, you know, perhaps we will learn something. Perhaps and this is a problem that I've not faced before. And if we run to the cursor and we bring up our registers and we look at them, what do we have? What is our memory at SI? Nice. Data, memory at DI. Um, memory at SI. Receive new packet. Oh, that's probably because C is calling it. Okay, so. We call right character and that modifies stuff. So let's check our memory again. Shit! Sorry. I'm getting angry. I was not passing the log buffer to it. It's time <laughs> to retire from DOS. I'm just gonna take a month's break. I fixed I fixed it maybe. I fixed it. It's fixed. Um, so the problem is that like, I'm not passing the correct arguments to log, uh, I was passing the length and then pass the array, which makes like, kind of makes sense. So now I want to move AX with log buffer and CX with log buffer length. And then we want to just call some right characters and it should be good to go. But it's not good to go, is it? It's never good to go because now it's freezing. Why is it all freezing? Thou hast froze. Thou hast printed out empty lines, perhaps. Oh, well, it just prints out new lines. 
which makes sense. If we print out just empty lines, does it uh, work better? Yeah, okay, so now what if we call write string? Okay. Okay. All right. It's okay. Now let's call create timestamp. Why did you unmute? Why did you unmute? I thought I hit mute. I guess I didn't. So create timestamp is broken and that's fine. I didn't want it to work anyway. I wrote it as a joke. Ha 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 ha. But DINCX should be passed to this. So D I C X and D I, and we are passing that correctly. Um, so, okay, let's walk through this. A X S I B X D X B P. Okay. So int 21. We clobber some stuff, right year, right month, right day. Um, right. Um, once we put everything on the stack, we don't have BX and DI, DI anymore, do we? So, we need to push. No, it's still writing to the stack. Ah, uh, okay. Okay, this is fine. We're just going to add some more stuff to our stack. So, we're also going to move um, BP minus 14. We're going to put DI and BP minus 16 CX. Um, save output string. And then we're going to do the opposite. We're going to load output string. Okay. Okay. Now we also want to remove the new line thing because I guess the string already has a new line in it. Okay. Okay. There's two timestamps there. Um, hmm. Okay, well, here's what we will do. We will sub, no, login coming. Why are we calling login coming with the command? That's fine, that's a bug. Kind of, is that a bug? Um, so log incoming, we also need to put the word incoming into this. So this is kind of like a log general, but we also need to, okay. How about we have log timestamp, log general, log string. I guess we're just going to wrap shit up um, yeah, we will have a log timestamp, I guess. No, no, I don't want to do that. 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 Um, I, I don't want to have log outgoing. I don't want to have log general. Um, how are we going to add incoming to this?
Maybe we should just put a log category. And then we pass the category in a register or, or something. I mean, there's, there's two approaches. We either have just a general like um, log, log timestamp, um, then we just can log strings. I guess we'll do that. Um, that basically ruins all my number stuff though. All my, I mean, I could copy and paste that, but we also need to write string incoming. And we need to save those registers. Maybe having a function that does too many things at once, not a good deal. So we have log incoming. <laughs> That's not good. Okay. Uh, so we would need to save the line length onto the stack. Yeah. Let me push. SI and we push six. And then here we would pop. Um, BX and then we would pop um, SI. Let's see if that actually works. And that means we also don't have to do that. And then we would write the string. Um, why is there an, okay. I'm just gonna remove the new line here. Okay, and now we're going to move BX incoming length. Um, incoming um, tag, incoming. And then we do incoming length equal minus incoming tag. Coming tag, so let's go back to log incoming, and then we will move bx incoming tag length, and we will move si incoming tag, and we will call write string. Instruction expected. Oh, this needs to be, I need to put some bytes there. Print format outgoing. Okay, we're just gonna jump that. Okay, and then you would have to write a space. Okay. It's kind of better. Does this log to the file correctly?
but test.log. Please, just fucking open files for me, for God's sake. Let's wipe that and try again. I guess it did spew garbage all over it. Uh, whoops, wrong file. Okay. Incoming. Outgoing. So. Let's think about our code here and how to generalize it. We have log incoming, we have log general. We have a string here. That should end with a new line or whatever. How do we generalize this? Um, we would have to pass a tag or something, but we cannot do that because we do not have the registers unless we pass the tag in like di ax and bp ax equals tag bx equals tag length. All right, so then we do push ax push bx and then over here when we go to write the tag we pop um bx and we pop si and then over here we will quickly do move um ax incoming tag and move bx incoming tag length Okay. Right, so what we can do now is move this up the top, put this in log general. Um, and then we will find log where we call log general. And just comment that out for now. Um, we'll actually just move um, we'll have an unknown tag and we'll have an outgoing tag. So when we call log general here, uh, which does the log printf, um, we're going to pass move ax to si. Oh, that's calling sn printf. Um, oh boy. Okay, we'll just not call anything for now. Um, and we'll just do log general here, which would do all this. And then log incoming, we'll do that jump log general. Um, and so we have SI is, is line, CX equals length. We could probably change that actually to um, di and bx, I don't know. Um, but we need to push ax, push bx, and then we call it, and we pop bx and pop ax in return. So let's try this. Mm. 
Mm-hmm. There's smiley faces there for sending login credentials. Um, so we must be doing grep. Um, if we go to edit, that's just smiley faces or whatever. It's not good. Edit bot state log general log edit um, code bot logic. Where does it do log general? Um, I guess we can also have log unknown or log auth. Auth tag. So what we can do here is have log auth, log auth. Um, I don't know what log general does there. Um, instead of log auth, we can be log, um, auth log logic, um, auth tag logic tag, logic tag length. And in constant, we will have a big tag, logic tag. And then we will have logic. Okay. So let's see if that works a bit better. All right. Slam Epic Games with Fortnite. All right. Um, last thing we're probably, well, there's still more to do. Um, we have log incoming. We're going to do log outgoing. Logins, yeah. Um, and the next thing we're going to do, what is unknown tag? Do I actually use that? No. Okay. Log outgoing. I think we're getting out of this mess. All right. Um, next thing I really want to do is just enforce the new line thing. Okay. Um, actually, can we move this away to the logic file? And what we will do is when we do log incoming, now what we will do first here is add a new line. Log general. AX equals tag. The X equals tag length. Right space, we can get rid of right space. We don't need that. Right log, close log, open log. And then we'll drop the printf stuff soon. But when we do the call log incoming, uh, we're going to push CX and a pop at CX. And same thing here. And we're going to um, deck CX, remove a new line. 
And let's see if that works. And that way we should have the incoming tag. Whoops. Okay, incoming ping, hello world, incoming test server, outgoing ping. Incoming ping, test server, hello world, outgoing. What is happening there? Do I need to decrement it twice? That actually made it worse. How did that make it worse? Um, we'll have to examine the output. test.log 0a wait is a a new line that's just a vim but test dot log so it actually looks fine here oh because we're in DOS, we need to do the zero OA thing, and we need to also do the the R carriage turn. And I think that OR is is D. Let's see. Okay, that actually works, except for the 37 thing. Um, remove new line. So why does log logic not work? Call log logic. Why does it only show us 37? That should be Success log logic. Okay, so actually this would be around here and that would be command buffer and this should be log logic not log incoming. All right Okay, we did it We've done it It's done Um now we have to remove the C wrapper for printf. So, um, drive C code bot bot dot cpp. All right, log printf. We're actually going to make that our own function. Um, so where's log printf? All right, um, C printf wrapper. I think you need to use a varags. No, we would be using SN printf to print. Um, can you use varags? How do you open what com barags? STD arg. Do we have that? STD arg dot h. All 
I've already donated. I'm a good boy. I donated. Okay. Let's get back to coding. Yeah, I donated $50 to Wikipedia. I know people have big criticisms of Wikipedia. It's like, yeah, but also, okay. All right, int log printf const character format. And so what we will do is we will, uh, there's some controversy around, um, around whether they actually need donations or they're like hoarding money or something. I don't know. So SN printf buffer size of buffer in length buffer size of buffer. So the extern int thing would be a log general. And we would have to set which registers use which. Extend void log general const character tag right, um, int tag length const character um, string int string length. So we'll worry about that in a minute. But we have our varags here. And we want to do sprintf to the buffer. And how do we get these? How do you get the get the stuff? Oh, there's std arg there. Okay, let's try using that. Um, and that would be VA list. And then we would just pass that on there. And then we would call um, log general um, We'll make this um, the wrapper tag. So let's see. Um, Wrapper size of wrapper buffer length. Okay, let's see if that like compiles but doesn't link. Hmm. Okay. What? Where is the error happening? Down at 178 or something? No, I'm, I've messed something up here. I must not have closed the parentheses or something. Um, not having a hate burner. Number of arguments for log printf is incorrect. So I guess I can't actually like use an argument list like that. Um, Yep, 
Yeah, no STDARG. Already had STDARG? Okay. Symbol app. So now I need to get the list and pass it on. Um, VA start. So how do I use this? Please, Wikipedia. VA list AP. And then I guess we just pass it to printf. Does that work? Now the extern C log general thing would actually cause a big crash. I defined AP there. Maybe I really need need to do STD arg. No reference to form. Function arguments do not match those in prototype. SN printf does not match. Okay, let's try VSN printf, I guess. Number of arguments is incorrect. Definition, int what call, VSN printf, character unsigned, character const, and then a pointer to a character buffer. Oh, do I need to, okay, I think. VA start args format, and then I guess a VA end args. And this would be args. Oh, I'm not passing a format. Okay. Undefined symbol near character and sign. What the hell happened there? Is that because I'm calling log general? I think so. Nope. This is uh ruined. It's ruined. Hey DPA. What's up? Wait, is it format args? Args format? How you doing, DPA? Just want to fucking page up, page up. Let me see the errors. Just want to see the errors. All right, I will redirect the errors. It doesn't work. Why? I can't. Mm. Oh. Okay, maybe there. Maybe. Maybe it's in like C, it's in CW. What did I just delete? CW error. No, it's Causeway DOS. Surely there is an error file around here. What is but dot D? Yeah. No such file or directory. Yeah, sometimes there's uh, sometimes there's an error, there's pain. Um, sometimes there's a lot of pain actually. Mm. 
You ever have a pain? It's telling me the error, but because this is DOS, I can't scroll up. Let's see, look, it, it passes fast, but it won't tell me what the errors are. <laughs> what a what a what a problem to have, huh? You like you never know. You never know if you ever have errors. You never know where they're gonna be. You know. Where's the W link? Can we redirect the? W link errors output. Lots of arguments here, but that's okay because it's not okay. Option. Quiet lines. Is there an option to put bad output to a file? Error. It should be something to do with errors. Yeah. W link error file. This is of all the issues I'm hitting, I hate this one the most because this is, this shouldn't be a problem. Okay. Let's try W make, um, bot or let's we make bot.exe more. Pipe it. All right. Pass environment is an undefined reference. All these things are an undefined reference. Well, um, okay. 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 What if I just do that? All right, what if we W make clean? Maybe something has messed up. You know, I was thinking the other day, Python isn't the best language, but it's not this, it's not this. It's not this. It's not this. Right character, right string, right number is an undefined reference. Right number, extern. Am I not linking in the string shit? How did that even work? How was it working before?
What was happening before? Okay. Okay. So now we're going to call log general, but we need to specify the uh, the register arguments ordering. And that's fine. That's easy peasy. We just need to go over here and read what we do here. It's the wrong test function. We just need to pragma aux this, you know? All right. Let's see. So what does log general do? Um, pragma aux log general. Um, it shouldn't modify anything um, except SI. So param, I think that would be AX, BX, SI, CX. And we can just do that and it should be fine. It should be fine. Did that actually work? Um, let's look at the log file. There's nothing here to do with wrappers. And there's a lot of extra new lines. I guess that's just a Unix thing, yeah. So log general is not working. It's not calling log general. Oh, um, do I actually tell it to call log general? Let's just try this. Um, log printf. Receive new packet. Yeah, it should be writing receive new packet. So that's not working. I'm just going to open the debugger for this. Uh, bot test and let's find up here the log of printf thing. Um, run the cursor. All right, data locals, data registers. All right, so when we let's go, let's look at this in the assembly. Um, so when we do log general, we move AX to CX, right? We move BX, which is eight. And it's, it should set that up fine. But it doesn't call the function. Why? It's the one thing you need to do. It's the one thing you need to do, buddy. You got to call a function. Do you ever see someone's bio and it's like, oof, I don't know. Okay, we have to call the function. You don't have to send me any bios. I really, I don't care. So what if we do log general?
and then we do bot test there. Expecting end of line, but found log general. Absolutely fair. Will this actually work? Undefined symbol log general. Well, you know what, you motherfucker. Sorry. <laughs> Just getting a bit. Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> this is absolutely fine. Okay. Let's go back up over here and see what it's doing now. I tell it that do log general is done by. It didn't just put the symbol straight in it. No, no, it wouldn't do that. Um, so we want to run the cursor. I would not do that. We mean together. Yeah, that call it should call it. So what's, what's that, um, be it, what's that, uh, be, uh, AX. What's at the I garbage. Oh no, wait, am I, what do wait, log general. AX, BX, SI, and CX. So SI should be the line. Why is that not? So wait, let's go back to here. Data, memory at SI. All right, so it doesn't have SI set data. Marriott BX. AX tag, BX tag length. SI line. No, I wouldn't. Okay, so this is assembling. Let's do this. Let's try this. Just try it. This. Honestly, this is a nightmare. Um, we're just going to do call log general. Undefined symbol call log general. How did I do it with my test string? Okay, pragma orcs, and then we have those pointers. And then we want to have a call equals that. Try that. I get them at calls. You microwave them. If 
Like not all, it's a lot of general. A lot of general. Uh, I think they're veggie delights or something. Oh shit, it worked, kind of. Um. Now we have to just remove all the extra stuff for all the new line handling. Okay, we have done it. Maybe. Why is there a space after wrapper? Is that a space? Why is there a space there? Like, it looks cool as heck, but that's not what I want. It's a null pointer. Why does string then... That's oh, a size. Let's add a negative one there. Australia, New Zealand only. Move to Australia. You can live in my backyard or something. I can set up like a tent. All right, so our logging is fixed. We can drop that. Is that a promise? I don't know. Our logging is done. Um, I know I should probably feel a bit happier about this, um, but Jesus, Jesus. Oh, I shouldn't say Jesus. Okay. I don't want to say the G, the J word. Okay, we need to go back to our to-do list. So we've done all that. Um, once we have pings done, merge test up pilots and test commands. Crying over blasphemy. Uh, all right, um, so we're actually gonna you know, I might actually just end it here today. Um, this can be a short episode. Because, oh boy. Does this... Is this grueling... And tiring... Why is this using get Envin? Okay. Um, but the next thing that we're going to be doing is working on our actual logic, which are these two states. Does that make sense? Yeah, I think that's it for today. Um, sorry, everyone. Goodbye.